URL. Yo, we back. Respect the culture. Summer Madness 10. We about to get into the battles. We kept all them things that went on. A highly anticipated event. Summer Madness 10. Every year. Every year we waiting for this. COVID or not, clearly, because COVID is brand spanking new. But we have battles on there that was anticipated as well. We got T-Top and B-Dot. That's what we about to get into right now. A big anticipated Battle highly, I keep saying big other other words than highly. A highly anticipated battle by both of us on this platform right here. What's up, y'all? Respect the respect the culture. How do you think B. about that? Well, my, my B. Dot T. There we go. There we go. How you felt about that battle, King? Mm, I know you ain't say that. Okay, with the King. Let me look at my paper because I. Oh, I know what I'm gonna say. Huh. Clear the only battle of the night with a clear winner. King B dot 30 ball heavy. To say oh, something else man. about the battle, okay. My bad. I said, I, 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 I start this off, man. I, I had T top going in there smoking B dot. You feel me? I wasn't even a, a me too. You know, I just, I just thought, be, I just thought T Top was gonna go in there, you know, but that shit, like, you know, when you sit there and watch that shit, bro, we you, you watch something you, that was clearly he beat him. I ain't, yeah. I don't, I want to say thirty people, but, All right, nah, but I he beat that. I, I, I had T Top winning this too. I did not, I did not think he would clearly win. Um. I might in our video. I might have. I feel like I might have. I said that in our past video that he might that he might, that T Top might clearly win. I think I did. I might. I think I did say that. I was riding with T Top all the way. But as time went on, and not like not like a day or two before, I had to really think of myself like there's beat out battles that I like. I really like that beat, certain beat out battles that I just started recently watching. Past few months, past within the past nine months that I really started watching, and I'm like, damn, beat out is, is some is some special. He's some dope, and I'm like, but. I still feel like T Top gonna win the battle, but I'm like B Dot is gonna really bring it. But I was so with T Top winning. In the beginning, I was clear. I, I leading up to it, I went on like a two one type thing. But man, I'm a fan of B Dot now, and it's official. And I actually I can say I kind of was a fan. I like what I saw of the one of the the three battles I seen at B Dot. But now I'm watching everything he wants to see. That man deserved everything he want. He got he deserved everything he has coming to him. Um, you, uh, yeah. you asked me how I felt about the battle and I paused too long, real idiotically. There was something else I felt about the battle that happened at the end of the battle. They got to stop the bullshit. They got to stop the bullshit. There was a lot of pandering in the T-top. A lot of pandering in the T-top. This battle was crazy. This battle was battle of the year. This battle, this and that. You so when you see all the hands shaking and shit, B Dot was getting way more love. T Top was just standing there looking aimlessly. But say that like, he was getting love too, don't get me wrong, he was getting love. But he was being lied to in his face. He was being lied to in his face. This was not no classic. A classic to me, six rounds need to be crazy on both ends. This wasn't that. This was not at all. So with them saying that this was a battle of the year and all that, to a man that possibly really does have a battle of the year, B Dot. He really he's in the contenders to have a battle of the year with him and with him and Saga. And there's other not me, but there's other people saying that B Dot and Geechee versus A1 Loso is a battle of the year contestant too. Not me, I'm not saying that, but there's people that say that. So that man has two battles of, the, of this year that people feel like is battle of the year. That the culture feels like. I ha I feel like Saga and him is up there for it, but not the other one. But damn, to say that just to just to tell that man the moment to make him feel good, that's not true. What do you think about that? Like, I learned to shut up. Man, I was just, I remember, don't know, man. Remember I was when going... they said that, though? You remember when they said that, though? Said what? When they, was when they was gassing it up. They was talking about how it was a battle in the year and all this and that, and it was a classic off rip. Remember that? I don't know. I, you know how I feel about that classic word and how that should be thrown That's around. True too. 
I, I use the word so, classic a lot. I do myself. And when, when you say like, that, that's true. I had to make sure I watched the others. When a motherfucker acknowledged we had a classic as a battle rapper, I feel like you lost. I feel like the only person that could acknowledge it was a, cl- a classic is like Smack or Beasley or somebody or a viewer or something like that. But when a, a actual battle rapper say we had a classic, you, you to me, you acknowledge and you lost to the now, person. Now, because now, T-Top and B-Dot you won, you gonna say you beat them. You're not going to say you had a classic. You're going to blatantly say you beat them. You're not going to say you had a classic. That's what motherfuckers say when they lost. They don't, they don't say I beat them. Or they say I had a classic. I, do I don't, believe, get into that I don't believe T-Top and B-Dot said that in the, at the end of it. I don't believe they said that. Maybe in some interview, maybe. But I don't. Maybe not in the interview. But I don't believe right after they battled, them two specifically did not say that. I'm talking about the people, their peers around them was coming up, grabbing the mic. Hold on. I want to say this one thing. One nigga that wasn't, he, one N-word, that's not even a battle rapper said that. I remember. I'm, he be with, with uh, Sean. He ain't even a battle rapper. He was like. Yeah, this this battle was crazy. It was a classic battle of the year, possibly. Grab the mic. He he behind, and you know what I mean. That's that's crazy. Like no, no. And I, they did that just to make T Top feel better. So I'm ready to get into a deeper breakdown of this battle that I want to make very quick and brief, as po- brief as possible. If you want to, you ready? Will you what, you got anything else to say? Because yeah. you know how I'm about to give it up. I'm a, I want to go round by round. I got things I want to say. And I guess, I guess I want to, uh, uh, I'm trying to think if I, how, if I want to just, because I got more, I got more I want to say about T-Top. And I guess I could go back and talk about B-Dot. Let's, let's get, let's get into the meat of this real quick. Pause, pause, pause. T-Top first. First of all, I'm going to say this. T-Top first, second, and third, I didn't like none of the angles he took. He sounded like a country black man that they portray on TV, like, that don't that want to always come at another black man for some non some black shit or some non way he's approaching white people like that's exactly he came off like a straight hillbilly on there he was talking to him like like he was just country as hell like what what's what's one thing for specifically he said in his second his second he said this playing with them white man is what the white man ain't he said he he that's that's some country shit that I'm from the east. But that's some country shit that they portray on TV and they show and they say they say shit like that. Like we don't we don't we don't really we may say stuff like it, but we don't say it certain ways like that. I did not like when he when he said that specifically in the second round. But back to his first, I had one bar that I liked from T Top in this whole battle. Fuck you mean? And it was in his first round, and I didn't even write the whole thing down. It was a kitchen floor hand in the towel line. If you go back, we go back and when we all get a chance to watch it, that, that line was that line was tough. I didn't even write the whole shit down. Just remember that that I said that. I ain't want to write it all down. It was a lot, it was a scheme to it, and it, it was dope. That was literally the only line I liked from that man. From you, Teach. That was the only line I liked. I'm gonna be quiet right now. Anything you wanna say, jump into that. Yeah, I like the line with uh the fuck T Top had said. He said something about um I could see through your roof like hey Arnold room. That shit was fire. I'm a '90s baby. That line was fire. I'm sorry. I mean, I like I like Hey Arnold too. I ain't like that line. I I want to talk about. Let me say something else about his first. When it comes to the angles I mentioned, his first, he was coming down like he was some like he like he was supposed to do this and that and all this and that. He was talking to B Dot like 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 this like he like that and this. You know what I mean? Because B Dot is labeled is labeled right now. He's marginalized by everybody as his conscious rapper, and he, he even said it himself in a few a few times. They always want to put him up against another conscious rapper and all this type of like, stuff like that. And he don't be wanting that, but he take it because he up for the challenge, and it push him more. That's crazy. So I guess now he ain't really get that this time, and before he, he got a battle that he just easily smoked. That was a poor angle to me where he kept talking about how uh, beat I was supposed to do this and that and, and all this and that. How he going to say to him, say he from, and another thing he said his first two, a little bit after was weak. How you gonna say he told him you from Cali? You were supposed I ain't right out. I just wrote like how I felt about it. You from Cali. You were supposed to play for oh no, you could have played for the Rams or the Raiders. What? How you gonna tell you from you from North Carolina? Wait, is he from North Carolina or South Carolina? Because uh we had a video where I messed up with somebody who was from out of the Carolinas. North, right? He's from North Carolina. He's from North Carolina because him and Swamp had a thing with South and all that. So I answered my own question. You might not know, I guess. All right, so yeah, he's from North Carolina. You could have played for the Charlotte Hornets. What are you talking about? Think about that. What? Where that line come from? And no, that line had nothing to do with nothing. 
he was already talking about him and like his the way he approached being black and how he teaches stuff. What? That was ridiculous to me. And the last thing I gotta say about Top First, he would tell her he had another line there where he was like, "You should have been teaching him." And it was it, the the leading up to it was pointless too. So that's why I'm not mentioning what what led up to what he said, why he said this too. But he said, "You you should have told them that they should have been teaching. You should have been teaching them to stay in school." What? Be the only seen a few beat out of bounds, but that's what he's teaching. First of all, ain't nobody in battle rap not teaching nobody not to stay in school. That angle was ass. And I really, that shit was aggravating to hear that shit. It made no sense. It was just pointless. That whole first was a terrible first to me. I like that one that one bar. I'm going to be quiet right now. Because I got more. And I, I want to show respect to, to my, my co-host. All right, he not saying nothing. That the video me dog. My bad, you thinking? No, no, I thought you you just. I, I I thought we supposed to be practicing. You you say something, I say something. You was like, I got this right. for the first. Now, I, got I, this just for said, the... I just said I just I was being quiet. I just, I literally just said that. So when it's quiet, you, you should talk. No, you saying you like how you did. You just rambled everything you just had. You ain't let me get nothing in. Like that's what I be mean. Like it it be frustrating. We, we just sat here uh, and talked bro, about it. I said was, two things. It's not a ramble. I literally just said two things. It is, it. but it's supposed to be a back and forth thing, not you say your point, your point, your point, your point. You said more than two things. We just talked about it too, also. When I mentioned the line I like, I stopped it, and then you said yours. Then I mentioned something I had to say. You said like, then I stopped bro, it. You, you said, said like, nothing. So bro. I went to my next one. And the only reason why I went to my next one because I only had first, two more things to say. First, 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 you be so focused on me first, talking so much instead of talking. Bro. Talk about the battle. You stressing it out right now. Come I, on, bro. I really got more to bro. say. I can't say nothing if you're going to just sit there and just say it all, bro. You just, like, let me speak. That's what I, I how am I say it all for my opinion? You make no sense. I'm saying how I feel. How am I saying it all? We, did, we, just, bro, we just sat here and practiced it, bro. You, we just said you was going to say one year, one point, not you all say right. three, four, when five things. When we watch it back, so you'll, it see. you'll see I stopped. So I did like, stop. I literally stopped. I literally just stopped. I stopped. And I said it. I stopped, bro. Like, I'm not, not, I'm not agreeing with you. I stopped. I stopped. I did. I went to two points and I said, I was like, what? I was like, given how I felt. And I stopped. Can you, do you want to say something? Because you have the time to say it and you're not saying it. I don't understand what the problem is. Go ahead, go ahead man. See, and now you want to pass. See? What, what, what the point? No, it's, it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. It's supposed to be, you say something, I say something. Not you just say, boom, 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 boom. You said more, you said more than two things. Put I your pride you to the really side and just talk the, now. You got the time. what I'm talking about. You got the time now. We wasted mad time with that. Put your pride to the side and just go. I, you had it, and you. I don't, you, have, I don't have nothing to say, bro. About the whole battle. I, it, nah, not like that. Cause we just okay, said how say. we were gonna format. We not, we not format. I don't want to format it like that. You just like say like a thousand things, and then I gotta just wait, wait to the end. Like you're supposed to be. You say something, I say something, then you go back to saying something. Not you just talk, 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 talk. You, like, you ain't getting it from my perspective, but. Like. It's quiet. It's quiet. The video is quiet. You gonna say something else, or do you want me to talk? I'm not, I'm I'm, 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 look, I'm confused I'm now. Say, look, I just want to shut up thing. and let I'm you talk because I want to say this right? so we can end the video. I'm about to say one thing and then you're gonna go back to talking. I'm not for though. like an hour. Yes, you are. So go then. Please this say your thing. Say. say your I'm thing, say, King. I like Speak, the King. I like. I, I'm gonna say I like the line where uh, B. Dop said, uh, "You can't talk them stories to, to a nigga that's on the roof. There's levels to this shit." That's what I. That's all I have to say. Then you're supposed to go say something, and then it's supposed to bounce back to me. Not you verbatimly talk, 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 talk. That's what I'm saying. I don't be having like that much to say after I say what I say. You get what I'm saying? But you, you'll go like mad. Oh like God. I thought he's gonna do it back and forth. This is you talking about something being frustrating. You don't listen to nothing I say, and that's frustrating because when I what I said was I'm about, you know I'm about to, how I'm about to get up. I'm about to get into the rounds. I wanted to deep dive, break it down, and I said I wanted to only talk about how I felt about. Tops first, and I compared top first to all three of his rounds, and then I said the line I liked. Then I stopped, and you said something about it. You said something about the hey on the line. Then I went, and I said two more things. And what I said was, how he gonna say he from Cali and he could have played for the Rams and the Raiders? That made no sense. Then I said, how he gonna say that he should have been teaching him, teaching his kid to stay in school when everybody doing that? That's all I said. But you want to focus on me? Tomorrow is rambling. You don't even listen to what my I'm about to call myself a nigga. You don't even want to listen to it, what I'm, and what we're saying. Like I'm literally, I'm saying it, and I stopped. I, I said what I said. I'm explaining it. There's no point in me saying it and giving it to you, and then I gotta come back and explain it. Let me explain it, and I get it out. 
All right, but now I guess it's still my go. I guess because you 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 said uh like you just said we bounce back and forth. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show y'all. Watch, because I have more lines than he will have. So when I say my line and then he don't have nothing to say, I'm gonna get through it so it don't be it don't be asinine or redundant. He had I like that line too. I like that line a lot where he was like, but it's level to this shit. Yeah, I like that. She was that she was fire. Um, I like the Nas line he had. It was written. I was getting Nas. And then years later, I was the protagonist with no crowd, and now the villain isn't sponsored. That was dope. I like I like that because um, and it was crazy because in this event too, John John had a Nas Illmatic line too. I like that line. That was in that was in Beat House first. Go ahead, crazy. I like the line that uh, Beat Dot has said. Crips to my brothers, unity. I'm flanked up. I had to make sure something blew. That was fire. that was another fire line. Yeah. I liked it. I like the line where where he was like um towards the middle of it toward I don't remember, I don't remember where it was at in the round I, th I think it was like towards the middle towards the end the later the latter half of the, of his round he was like well T top I'm extending the same hand I'm extending the same hand and he was like fuck that because he was talking about how um and him and Saga I guess I didn't know but him and Saga had some animosity with each other which I didn't know that leading up to it but you could tell in the battle because B dot has a um. He's not an atheist. I, I don't know what he believes in, but I just know we all know that Saga's Christian and Christian. So he had like they had angles where they were just going back and forth. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Questioning each other's truth. That's something I live by. The truth cannot be. The truth can withstand withstand any question, and that that goes for religion, any type of belief people have. You know, all of religions have the same belief in standards. But anyway, let me keep going. So I don't feel like I'm talking too much, and he's not actually listening to what I'm saying, and he's going to complain about me talking. So, well, top, I'm extending the same hand. He's like, fuck that. This is a whole different ending to the saga. That was tough because that that had that built off of what happened. Because he basically, he was like, no, I'm not about to give you that same respect because he shook Saga and Saga hand at the end of it because they battle was so dope. But he said this to, to T-Top in the first round. I like that line when he said that, that, that little whole thing. Go ahead, Grazy. I'm being, I'm going to say go ahead. I'm not going to say go ahead, Grazy, no more. I'm going to just be quiet. The Zoom shit is uh, I like that. Then you gotta take a shot at, at me every time it's my it's time to speak. Then All right, I'm, I'm a petty ass. I like nigga. The angry. I'm petty to somebody who don't listen to me when I'm saying and just only want to talk about when I'm only speaking. And don't you they don't listen to what I say. So yeah. All right, whatever. I like the angle where T Top was calling them conscious and shit, and how he on his African shit and all that. He was like, Yeah, you African, right? You African, right? You better be. And I hope them African blood diamonds. I like that shit. I like the line of beat. I was like, I told, he's like, I told, I told him to bring my, no, damn. I told to bring my tone down. I was told to bring my tone down when speaking to elders. He'll bring it down. He'll, he'll bring it down to pitch it to his mom. Damn, man. I know I wrote it down right, but damn, fuck. But it was basically, he just had like a tone and pitch to his mom. Like, you know, with all the drug shit. I, I was told to bring my tone down when speaking to the elders. He'll bring it down to pitch to his mama. That's what he said. I like I like that line when B. I told that. It was one of them, a real subtle line. I like another angle uh B. Dot got into where he was like, I'll twist your top, your top. That's cap. Like he, he always talk about like the drug shit and all that. About uh top, he'd be like he'd be like it's all cap or whatever. He'd be like Whatever he was talking about in the face off and shit, he was like, uh, the angle where he was talking about smacking BZ, he's like, well, I don't sell drugs, but they believe it and all that shit. I'm going to just keep it, you know. Yeah. Like he's saying how his whole image is like, he don't, he ain't, we he portray to be like outside. That's, just, fucked that's, that's fucking crazy I, too, because a lot of people really, be saying that shit. I like the realness in that because he got real personal with him, you know, losing the scholarship and want to sit and talk about all that shit. Yeah. Moving his people to Arizona. Like so, he, like I like the personal shit in, the, in this battle rap shit. You like, you know, people, and you can see the body language and shit when niggas sit, get into them personal. Right, that's a fact. Yeah, I didn't, I ain't know nothing about all that college shit. Like, okay, he he lost his scholarship. I mean, I ain't like that angle to me. Like, shit happens. Like, I don't know if T Top went to college and he know how that may feel. Like, but he just sounded he just sounded like a country bitter person to me. Like saying everything to him, he just sounded like somebody I watch on TV. He sounded like. This is a, this is some crazy. He just sounded like some 
I don't know, man. He type sound like a house nigga this whole battle to me. A house straight nigga. And I know I'm not trying to say a nigga, but he sound like that to me this whole battle to me with like, coming out him with the black shit. Like, what are you talking about? Like, B dot ain't never had no B dot angles. B dot black angles don't be. Nah, man. I don't know what some. I don't know as far as like the community shit because I got another shit that now now lead me into something else I had. Um, B dot. I mean, T top third. I T top third. He was like. What are you what are you doing for black communities? He had an angle, he had a, a like a type long angle for that. Uh let me uh shit. My bad. I'm about to, I'm, about to, I'm gonna make a quick ghost. He was like community. He was like, I hate I hate you conveniently conscious niggas. You only play the part that's cool. He was like, Would you walk would you walk in Marcus Garvey's office with your flag? Now hold up, time out. You are glorifying drugs. I'm gonna make this quick. You glorify drugs and all that. I'm pretty sure I'm beat. I might have. He, you know, he talk about the game banging. So he glorified, but he talk about the game banging. I don't. I ain't gonna say T type even glorifying the drugs. It's just he he talk about it so much. Cause I feel like when you glor when you glorification is like you really like praising it. And you kind of you want people to accept that you talk about it. T type talks about it a lot. So with that being said, he want to talk about would you walk in Mark? Would you walk in Marcus Garvey's office with the flag? First of all. Marcus Garvey was all for black communities in Africa. He was the president of Africa at one point in time in certain parts of Africa, Africa with, with country. But um, and being blood, being Crip is a, a community organization. No matter where it may turn to in 2020, it's a community organization for the people. So, yeah, I mean, I would much rather, and I could see him walking into Marcus Garvey's office with his flag on. Would you walk in Marcus Garvey's office with all of what I say? With, with um with knowing what you did to to the to your community and your own people with what you served them and what you made gave them and what you what you allegedly saying to us would you want would you walk in his office knowing that on your on your conscience and what that man stands for Marcus Garvey that's what you said T top you you brought a Marcus Garvey name like it was shit like that shit meant a lot to me that was fucking crazy how you just said that like you you compared him walking in there with his flag to to um to 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 just him like to how he made be his beliefs like I'm, I'm gonna be quiet because I'm that was pretty much it like I said what I said about 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 T top with him and the drug shit like come on I your end of it is worse than his if you want to put it like that Go ahead. like another like another personal uh, B dot said I should I should adopt your daughter so she can grow up in a better household like like that was my shit too I wrote that shit down too that was fire. Personal they throw kids and shit like that. I be feeling like that's just a soft spot. Like, you get what I'm saying? But you know, you got to take it as battle rap, right, man. Man, I got fun. This nigga, this nigga be capping, man. Because I had that shit. I had pawns for that shit. Yes. Dr. Doyle, yeah. That was fire. Man. I'm glad, man. I'm, just, I'm glad we be we, we, uh, we be in tune in these fucking battles, though. Y'all don't understand. These battles be... They did their thing with this event. b I had a dope line where he was like, negative energy out in the world. Now to now to the bottom of the knife with his karma. Mm, now, now you to the bottom. Now you in the bottom of the knife with your karma. I, I just really afraid, broke it down. I just had to really quick it in there. But that was that was a dope little thing that he did. Uh, it had, I, it was you know what I mean it was it wasn't all that to me. It was just I liked the I liked what it meant like negative energy out of the world and now that bottom of the, and then you know what I mean y'all know bottom of the knife baseball terms that had nothing to do with this. But I like that. I like that. I ain't had nothing else really. I like I like what beat out was like he'll tell a nigga he'll tell a nigga business in a battle and a nigga and to a nigga with a gavel. What? That was crazy. That was in beat out first. Like damn, how the fuck you gonna say that to that man? That was that was that was tough. I like that. It was sweet. Uh, I like the line with beat out was like I asked for a twerk, then they put T in front of this work. <laughs> B dot he had yo he was spazzing on T top some serious, all right that was I he think was. that was him, huh? I said he was he was. It just T top T top shit. He he was flowing. He was going. It just I didn't I didn't like nothing you were saying T top. That's just basically what I really didn't like nothing. None of the angles you had. Your second you had a really weird angle to me too. You had um the the Marcus Garvey we had we was coming out about being black communities where you talked about it more you talked about it a little bit in the first round but you really was heavy on it in the third round about him but the second round you start talking about 
why would I trust the ancestors I can't see? That aggravated me a lot. I can't stand. I ain't, I ain't understand that shit at all. Because you know, she taught that history is everything. So if something that happened to our, our history, we talk about our history, our history, we need to learn from that. We still going through the same shit that our parents taught us. That's what generational trauma is. When we still going through the same thing that our parents talked about and expressed what they went through, we all still going through that right now. And guess what? Your kids possibly will go through that. And I'm going to speak about your kids because my kids is going to go through that too right now, unfortunately, until the next generation changes that. Let me keep going because I wanted to send a shot. Because I don't understand how the fuck you be talking about I be rambling because you don't listen to me. Like, that should be bothered. That, that's frustrating. When top rap about white man, black man, he said he sound, yeah, that's why I said because he was doing that more. He just sound like he would just, he just sound like he would just be on this, this country portraying so he just sound like a house nigga to me like that this is the, the this is this is the round where i really like it just had it in my head after that ancestor line and this is the same round where he was like um uh, playing with the white man is what the white man ain't like that's some that's that's some shit that just sound i get what you're saying but that just sound like real out of place to me i'm gonna be quiet give you a chance you, got, you ain't had nothing to say about what i said i told you i was done i ain't nothing else to say i don't i don't I don't need you here saying you told me you're done. I'm trying to be quiet because you will say I will keep talking. That's all I'm trying to do. You might no, have something to say about what I said. That's all. I'm trying my best. I'm being honest. I'm trying my best. For the fourth yeah. time, I'm telling you, I don't have... So do you want me to not pass it back to you? Or I'll pay attention just in case if I might say something. You want um, to to say. You think you'd be like, so like, on, like you ain't making me mad by doing that. I'd be, I'm just trying to make sure. Cause then when I'm not, we ain't real quick. Then B dot second. I didn't write down the, the first bars and the stanza he had, but I like the beginning, the very beginning he had. I actually I I don't remember to write it down, but um, it was dope. I like I like the first four bars. I think he did he rebuttal. He ain't rebuttal. I think it might have just had a little something to do. But anyway, if I and then he had a um damn. It really I like this one too. It really be the niggas. It be the nigga. It really be the niggas get killed that really wasn't banging. I like. I like when he said that, for because I mean, like you know, what I mean, that's like that's something I always believed in. Like, but but beside the fact, you know, what I mean, not not want to do something at you that's not for you as a person. And when I speak as myself, because that's that's true. Like, you don't want to do nothing if you want to half step it. And that when it comes to the streets, any of that shit, you definitely don't want to do that. And people don't learn that until it's too late. Certain people, certain certain very very certain people. Very, very some people. I had a cousin I had, that his name was James, and man, he um, me and him, we hung out when we were younger, and he was he was banging crip, and I don't know, I don't know where. Like me and him, we, we my my mother would drop me off at his at his his father's house and all that, and it was just him and his father, and he always wanted to try and like go back with his father and shit like that for no reason. But I never touched that place because it was him. But he died. He died probably like um, man, I don't, he probably died like when we went into middle school. He he passed away somewhere on, over there off of Clinton Avenue, over there down there by by UM UMDMJ, or on some stupid shit just for just for doing something that that he wanted that he said he wanted to do one time to me, and I didn't think nothing of it. But I wish I would have like just kind of asked him about like like not really say why because that's a, at the time we we kids, but somehow I, we respect what another person said. So it was just it still fucked me up to this day because it's like you gotta take that serious like. If, if you if you out here playing, other people not playing with you, and it's, it's it's like that. And if you if you realize that somebody else not playing with you, you you shouldn't be playing with nothing. It don't matter what age you in. If you stepping in something, you need to take it serious. And that that shit really I stuck that shit stuck with me with that part right there. Um, yeah, my name my my name James, but I'm obviously I'm gonna talk about me. It was my family member. He had another he had another line. He had um uh, for your team for your team you'll bite you'll bite the bullet. But he'll be a he'll affiliated. I like that 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 was going into that same banging line. Uh, then he had another line where I guess T Top must have convinced was was must have had an angle on some other battle, which I ain't see. I don't remember that. He's like, you you convinced us a job at Walmart was whack, but couldn't convince Briz to stay on his job. That was fire in that second. When he said like, what? Like get out of here. You talking about all this? What are you be talking about, T Top? And T Top other battles be dope. I just didn't like this particular battle with him. I'm on the roof. I think you said, did you say this one? Um, I'm on the, I'm on the roof. Same place. I didn't know I had it. That was dope because he, he the one that kind of in, invented this whole roof, roof wave with motherfuckers want to see beat out on the, on the roof. Like 
because they realize they get that intimacy, they get that quiet with that quiet room. Like you know what I mean? A lot of people don't like the the, the small rooms and shit, but hey, a lot of people do. And you know what I mean? It's, it's something for everybody. This is something for everybody, whoever like it. Regardless of what's going on with COVID, it's still something going going on right now. If you don't like it, people ain't watch. Some people ain't watching it, and they missing out for them people. I get out. I get out the water in the mud. He said, "I get it out the water in the mud in the green." No, no, he was he was mocking T top. This is like the, this. I, I got like two more bars I'm gonna say about beat up. He said, "I get, um, I get it out the water with the mud in the green." Then why are you so scared of swamp? Why are you so scared of the swamp? That was dope. I like that. That was in beat out second. Uh, I, I didn't. I ain't like the fact that that beat out mentioned his daughter name. He mentioned his daughter name and the nickname. Ain't like it's not like fighting shit to me. It just like it just sounded weird. Like he was just coming at him too much to me. I didn't like that part with the whole like, hey, yeah, it's for play, but I get it. I'm glad he digressed the tone, the level of that, and and my say it felt like it was on camera. But I just I just didn't like that part. I don't know. I didn't like that part. Um, then he had another line where he had a Corey Gaines. He compared himself. He compared Tita to Corey Gaines, and he compared himself to Kenneth Walker. I like that. But um, that that's all I got for this beat out and T top battle, and um. Yeah, and I, I want to say one more time, they, I feel like they really gassed T-Top at the end. Like, they did. Like, they were talking about classic and all this and that. And I, I just don't, I don't agree with that. But, um, yo, crazy. Did you have anything else to say about the B-Dot and T-Top battle? No, that's everything. All right, I'm a fan of you, T-Top. I'm, I'm a fan of you, B-Dot, now. I've uh, been a fan of you, Top. Look forward to you seeing whoever you got up next, both of y'all. We gonna keep it going. Where, where you want to take this at? Where you want? Which way you want to go with this? It don't matter. We can go read in uh, no room. Read in room. It is. Y'all stay tuned. Get us in the, get in the comments. Let us know how y'all felt about this T top T top and B dot battle. What's up? Where y'all at with it? How y'all feel? Oh, oh wait, no, I did. I did. I said thirty. I said three. All right, we about to get in the read dollars and rum nitty. You are out. Smash.